my name is Emma and today we are going to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I am here with Monica, Michael, Sarah, <laughs> and Kat. <laughs> and tonight we are starting our journey to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's my first time going. Yep. It's going to be an amazing, amazing weekend. We're here for four days, or technically today was the first day. Mm -hmm. We're here for many days, um, and tonight we have gotten all dressed up in some fancy gear, and Welcome we're gonna have... Pants. Okay, interrupt me, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to get all dolled up, and we are going to the three broomsticks for dinner. It's gonna be a great time, and then tomorrow we're starting like the full amusement park day. Mm -hmm. um, and it's gonna be a really amazing trip, and I'm so excited. Yeah. And it's Christmas and, and it's Christmas. Christmas. We actually went to the what wrong park. We went to <laughs> Diagon Alley instead of Three Broomsticks, but we're having dinner at the Leaky Cauldron, and I'm so excited. So I have actually had butterbeer before, but I haven't had a frozen butterbeer from Wizarding World, so I'm excited to try it. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I want to drink this forever. We have gotten back from the Lee Cauldron and we have just been chilling. But right now, everyone in the room is taking the Enneagram. Is the Enneagram. Test. Enneagram. We're doing the Enneagram <laughs> test. Enneagram. And I thought it would be interesting. People have told me I can be overly sensitive and dramatic. Agree. <laughs> 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 have you guys gotten this question yet? I'm built for comfort, not speed. <laughs> This one says, I, I'm much more comfortable giving than receiving. That's a hard pass for me. <laughs> I like this one. I want people to think I love everyone, even when I don't. <laughs> Emma, that's you! That's me! <laughs> I often tell people when I see them making a mistake and they don't always appreciate it. Mm, I did that to you too. <laughs> Michael gets so mad at me. You get so, like, I will text you, like, Michael, stop being self destructive, and you're like, what? God. I'll be like, I'll be like, and then I'll get like eight novels from Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I get and then it. Michael's like, what did you have to like? <laughs> so we all finished talking or taking the Enneagram test. I got a type one, which is not surprising. <laughs> That's what you got last time. I don't remember. You took, I remember. <laughs> so I'm really into the Enneagram. <laughs> so what are you? I was a type four before. I'm a type four now. <laughs> type four for life. I'm somewhere between a two and a four. In terms of my Enneagram, not in terms of attractiveness. There, I'm a 10. I've been really Sarah, what are you? I'm a type 6. And Monica, what are you? I'm a type 7. Is everyone satisfied? Does anyone disagree? No, I have gotten a 6 before another time. Okay, I lied. I'm not a 10. I'm like a hard 7. <laughs> We are getting ready for our first full day at Universal. We have to make a quick stop to guest services because Michael bought the wrong ticket. So we're gonna try and upgrade him, and Sarah deleted her ticket. <laughs> so um, we have a bit of a late start this morning, but so excited. We are going to start with Hogsmeade today. Um, it's a little bit colder than we expected, so Sarah and I are like, we're like, we to buy a sweater. It's a wee bit nippy. <laughs> yeah, it's raining and it's chilly and windy, but it's Hogwarts. So pumped. Guys, we're at Hogwarts! <laughs>
currently we are still at Hogsmeade. We are just doing some photo shoots. You can't actually see Michael, but you can see Monica taking photos, which Hello. is really nice. <laughs> it's still raining. Um, ponchos are not fun. Michael, they're not fun at all. I did buy um, my Slytherin scarf though, which I'm really excited about. It's keeping me super warm. And I also bought an interactive one. I bought Harry's wand because I have Ginny and Ron's at home. 100% rain until 2 p.m. Not excited. So we don't really have a plan for today. We're just gonna walk around, take some more photos, visit the shops. Um, I think today's a good day for us to get some of the rides out of the way so that like we know that we've done them. But um, yeah, it's a fun time. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> We are currently at the three broomsticks for lunch. This was sort of like an unprecedented like thing. Like we just decided to go in and then we all ended up getting food. I got a hot butterbeer for the first time and it is so delicious. It's sweet with butterbeer too. I, I really like the frozen one, but this is so good. Hogwarts, but like I did not realize where it was and we like literally just like stumbled upon it I was very caught off guard, but it's beautiful and I think we're gonna go check out the line. Right? I'm so wet. This lighting is amazing <laughs> on the Hogwarts ride and it was so amazing. Like I literally cried while walking. Did you? Yeah, I like teared up. I was really, really yeah, emotional. Also, there was no line whatsoever. Yeah. They said 35 minute wait. It was just the five minutes of like walking, walking. through the area <laughs> that we had to wait. Yeah. yeah and it stopped raining. It. That's ah, what matters. It's wonderful. <laughs> no more ponchos. We're so excited. <laughs> Dear, if you would turn right round and face the shelves here behind you. In the centre up there, you will see the red wand boxes jutting out, yes? Yes. Then I would like you to levitate just one of the red wand boxes by giving the wand a swish and a flick and saying, Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> uh, not, not to worry. Raporo! Definitely not the right one for you. <laughs> it does seem a bit dim here in the shop. Let's have you brighten the room for us, Emma, if you would. Please hold the wand all the way up. Focusing just on the tip, light the wand by saying Lumos. Lumos. <sighs> Meteorologist Racontum. more of a challenge than I thought she would. <laughs> if you would. Yes. Oh, a perfect fit. Vine. 
15 inches, a bit on the bendy side, but a vine wand tells me that you are an intelligent and ambitious. <laughs> oh, and with a unicorn hair core, your charismatic charm will only help you on your way. We just went into Ollivander's for the little, what is it, activity, like ceremony, show. show thing, and I got chosen as the person to like get their own wand. Very unexpected. I was like, we're gonna have to go back like multiple times during the week to try and see if we can all get special wands, and like I literally got chosen the first one, and it was the coolest experience. So this is my wand. It is so beautiful and intricate and I love it. I don't actually remember what it is. Like I was too overwhelmed to actually remember yeah, it's, what was it's going on. It's on camera. We it's got, on camera. We got it. You saw it. It's amazing and beautiful and this is like literally like what I came here for. So I am the happiest like I could ever be. <laughs> Day one, we are heading out of Diagon Alley. I have like so much to update you on. We did like a lot today. Today felt like it was seven hours long. I also bought my Weasley sweater, which I love. Oh my goodness, it's out of focus. Why am I never in focus? Focus on me. <laughs> focus, focus on me. me. We are gonna head back to the hotel now, but I have so much to update you on. We went on the Gringotts ride, we did some interactive magic, and it was just an all around really amazing day. So we are back at the hotel. Um, I still have to update you guys, but we're currently about to try some fizzing Wisbees that Monica got for everyone. Put some pants on or sit on the floor. I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> oh, Sarah, you also don't have pants on. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> oh! Hmm. Oh! I like them. Mm -hmm. 
Smells like a shower. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I freaked out. <laughs> they don't need to say that. Okay. So it is the end of our final day of Harry Potter World day one. So as I said, I bought a lot more stuff today, which is really enjoyable, but I basically got everything I wanted to. So I'm pretty set to just like enjoy the moment for the rest of the two days. Uh, we also went on the Gringotts ride, which was really, really fun. I think I preferred the Hogwarts Express and, um, like, the Hogwarts Castle ride more. But, nonetheless, I'm still happy we went on. And we're going to go on multiple times tomorrow. But my favorite, favorite part was probably all the shopping. No, my favorite part was uh, Ollivander's because I got chosen for my wand. That was my favorite. Uh, Sarah, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was when I did... <laughs> <laughs> when I when we were at the night bus and I and I did a pole move. Oh, that was a really great one. We can too. insert a photo here. <laughs> uh, Monica, what was your favorite part? Um, <laughs> honestly, I think my favorite part was um when we were walking through Hogwarts. I mean, and you were just so excited. Oh my god! It was just so pure. I almost started crying. <laughs> Because it was just yeah, so pure and I had good, the best and time. everything was so nice. It was so, really great. I think that was my favorite part. <laughs> uh, and Kat, what was your favorite part? My favorite part? <laughs> <laughs> um, I really liked the rides. Um, I liked Gringotts. I think that one was my favorite. It was really um, fun. I just I love Diagon Alley. Oh yeah, um, Diagon Alley's so good. And also just all all of our photos. We had so many nice little photo shoots around, and it stopped raining. That was great. God bless. Yeah, I feel like that pretty much concludes tonight. I would invite Michael in, but he's asleep. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll check in tomorrow. You Do you guys want to say goodnight? <laughs> so it is our second full day at Wizarding World, and we are currently in the Hogwarts Express. Yay! Gringotts and we are at the Three Broomsticks for breakfast. Um, I'm getting pancakes and bacon and sausage and I'm so, so excited and you're getting to see, right? Yeah. Monica, as someone who was very nervous for Gringotts, what'd you think? I really enjoyed it. Um, I would say that like, ignore everything that you read. Like if you're scared, like I'm scared, ignore everything you read online. Hello, and, oh, everyone's here. <laughs> We're currently in Madame Milkin's Rope Shop. We've just been doing a little bit of shopping and walking around the stores trying to decide if anyone wants to buy the really, really expensive sweaters they have here. But Kat and I have discovered that there is a great Gryffindor bias and they do not and it is some day. bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much Gryffindor stuff. And it's like it doesn't come in any of the other house colors. It's 2018. I don't understand why like everything they're producing is not also colors. Capitalism. Come on. Slytherins want to give you money. You yeah, want to look good. Take my wallet, but like make it for me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> bad vertigo and we're trying to convince him to see if he could maybe try and get on the Hogwarts castle ride so this is how Sarah is going about that <laughs>
Michael. What did you think of the Hogwarts Castle ride? Uh, I was like at like 75% where the vomit was, but it didn't end up coming out. Congratulations. Kept yelling I screamed me. a lot. I kept screaming Sarah's name. You grabbed my hand. I held, hand I held it tight. I screamed Expecto Patronum when the was coming at us. And I had to close my eyes for everything digital, otherwise I would have been at 100%. But you did it! You did. I'm really We're so proud of you. So we decided to stop by the Marvel area and go on some rides because there were like literally no lines. Mm -hmm. I think combined we probably only waited like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, minutes. it was like five minutes each. <laughs> yeah. And it was just like walking through the waiting area. Yeah. Um, we went on the Hulk, which I really enjoyed because yeah. I've never been on like any of these rides before. Uh, we went on Spider-Man, which was like a pretty cool 3D experience. Uh, I was like pretty similar to like the Harry Potter 3D experiences. Yeah. And then we went on the Doctor Doom ride where it's like a drop. Um, and it was really fun. It was like more relaxing than scary. Yeah, like we screamed at first. And we're just like, oh, this is great. We can see Hogwarts. Yeah. Yeah, it was just really nice. Um, so now I think we're walking back to Hogsmeade. We're gonna hang out by the Hogwarts area. I know Monica really wants to see like the Hogwarts light show, which I still don't know what that is. Yeah, like, I'm I mean, down it's for like, it. Just it's just like a performance, like when they're singing or doing like the other oh, stuff, but okay. it's a light show. So magic. <laughs> <laughs> right now it is nighttime and Hogsmeade is gorgeous. Right now we are standing in the cold, freezing, waiting for the magic at Hogwarts Christmas show. Christmas magic at Hogwarts show. Um, I don't really know what it is, but I'm really excited to see. No one else wanted to come this early, <laughs> but we got in the park early and we are going on the Hogwarts ride that I keep calling the Hogwarts ride, but it's apparently called Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. And we're going to have a great last morning. A wonderful morning. Yes. Um, it's nice because I feel like we've done everything. So now we can just like do everything again and enjoy it. <laughs> to Sarah and Kat because they have to go onto their flight and Michael did already leave which is unfortunate. I'm gonna miss everyone so much. Yeah, but we had so much fun this weekend. We had so, so much it was fun. Such a good time. What was everyone's favorite part? Go quick. Uh, <laughs> I think my favorite part was when we were in Nocturne Alley. And <laughs> like interactive wand things and so uh, I was trying to do it and one of the guys in Nocturne Alley was like guiding me through how to do it and then at the end it's like this door and at the end he's like oh now you can open it once I had like done the alone wand spell and so I go and reach for it and it like shoots out air and then I scream <laughs> and then he like runs away <laughs> and it was just very cute and so perfect for Nocturne Alley and I was like does, does he work here? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part was. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really rude. 
Um, so my favorite part was last night. Um, I was talking about my new mattress because I got the purple mattress, which is like really expensive because I've got back pain. And um, Monica was like, "Hey, you gave me a hard time when I bought this handbag." And I said, <laughs> "And I said, but this is for my my back health." <laughs> And then Monica died laughing for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Kat, what was your favorite? Um, I like the roller coasters. I liked yesterday how we got to go on like three back to back. Like we did yeah. the Hulk, we did Spider-Man, and then we did the tower. Like, it was like 20 minutes. We just like flew through them all. Yeah. It was great. Uh, my favorite part definitely has to be the fact that I got chosen at all of it. No. Like, yeah. I feel like there's like no better experience to have here. So that was really amazing. And now I have like my own mom that chose me. So I'm very sad to leave everyone. for having Hogwarts and the Hogwarts yeah. ride for sure. <laughs> it's definitely like you should not come without the park hopper. The yes, park hopper oh my goodness. Like, Get the park hopper. Just then you can't ride yeah. the Hogwarts Express. Oh, that's a long line. <laughs> Butterbeer and we are leaving the park. I am so incredibly sad. So sad. I'm like so like it didn't hit me until we like had our final walk out of Hogsmeade. It has been a really really amazing trip. I'm so happy we came. I loved every second of it. Same. It was truly amazing. I can't see anything. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna miss listening to like 
Hogwarts music. Just constant. Oh my god, it was so great. <laughs> Harry Potter music. We like started walking out to the sound of like the last song on the Sorcerer's Stone soundtrack. And I'm like, this is too much. It was really great and I'll probably check in when I get home just to show you everything I got. But we're so sad to be leaving and we don't want to go. We want to come back immediately. <laughs> Let's turn around. <laughs> Let's not go home. Let's miss our flight. We'll just live here. We'll start working as cast members. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Start our new life yes. in Orlando. <laughs> we can live in like the storage rooms above mm -hmm. Hogsmeade. <laughs> I'm good at that. Same. So I'm finally home, back to the Muggle world. I'm very upset about it, but I had the most amazing trip. I figured I'd share my final thoughts on the park and my trip and show you a little haul of just everything I got while I was there. Firstly, I got my Harry Potter Weasley sweater, which I love. It is a little itchy, to be honest. It's like 90% wool, but it feels like a Weasley sweater should feel, and that's why I love it so much. I bought my Slytherin scarf, which I really love. It's very well made and super comfortable. Ooh, it actually looks really good with the sweater. <laughs> I also got my Slytherin robes, which is definitely like the number one thing I planned on buying at Harry Potter World. The robes I have are like $20 off of Amazon and I really wanted like the nice official Harry Potter robes and I love them so much. Then I got my wand, of course, the wand that chose me. I still cannot believe that I got chosen. Like that was like my number one biggest goal at Harry Potter World. And it happened within the first few hours of being at the park. It was so amazing. Give you a little close up of the handle because of course that's the most interesting part. It's just really unique and knobby and I love it. This is absolutely one of the most meaningful objects I own now. It's like literally a dream I've had since I was a kid was to have my own wand that chose me and now I do. <laughs> While I have tried like the majority of Harry Potter candy that I feel that I would enjoy, I did try Fizzing Wisbees for the first time because they were Monica's favorite and she bought them for the room and on the last day when we were in Honeydukes I was like I have to get some to bring home because it was just absolutely delicious. It's um, chocolate, like full hard chocolate with uh, fruity pop rocks in the middle and it's just absolutely delicious. I also decided to get this Hogwarts letter ornament which I think is super super cute. Um, it was definitely overpriced. I paid like $15 for this um, but that's kind of what you expect when you go to a theme park but I'm gonna hang it on my tree later when we decorate and I'm very happy about this. I feel like it's the perfect Christmas ornament to represent Harry Potter. So the last actual night at Harry Potter World when Sarah Monica and I saw the Hogwarts light show for Christmas which I guess was amazing. We decided to go on the Forbidden Journey ride one more time and as we got out, as the park was closing, they were selling the souvenir photos from the ride for $10 and I was like, it's a pretty good deal and we got a really cute photo. I think it's so adorable and it's funny because there was actually another person over here but they weren't with our group so the lady was able to crop it out for us. So now I have this cute photo. I've never had a souvenir photo before and I'm really happy about it. So that's it. That was my trip to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and it was as amazing as I could have expected. I went with the best group of people possible. Like it was so nice to go on an actual vacation with my friends that wasn't just booktube or book convention related. Like we went to Florida as a friend group and we just got to spend four days together enjoying our company and it was really, really nice. And I have the most gorgeous photos and such amazing footage to really remember the entire experience. And I just feel like I couldn't have possibly had a better trip to a wizarding world of Harry Potter for the first time. That really concludes this vlog. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and coming along on this journey with me. If you have been to the wizarding world of Harry Potter or one of the locations throughout the world, tell me your experience because I just want to reminisce on my time there for as long long as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!